This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. That DMK chief urges his rebel candidates to withdraw nominations filed as independents according to agency reports. First mile up now Krishnagiri, it's trouble calling for Tangabalu, his party members file a complaint against him, alleging corruption. Karunanadi hits the second phase of his campaign trail. The DMK chief's next stop is the AI ADMK's Bastion Karma. Will things change for good for people living near the harbour? Here is the AI ADMK's harbour campaign for a Karupaya sport pledge. ADMK rule. That is a renaissance to Tamil Nadu politics. In a freak accident in Krishnagiri district, a man and his grandson are trampled to death by a tusker. Good evening, you're watching the news tonight with me, Divya. Here are the other top stories across the room. Pakistan Prime Minister Gilani accepts Manmohan Singh's invite for the Mohali semi final. Radiation reaches 10 million times the normal in the sea water around the Fukushima nuclear plant. Protests in Japan against the cops. World Air Domestic Help Hemraj Guru says the CBI never contacted her. The probe is only focused on Arushi. Wikileaks cable may be unverifiable, but the Congress will treat them the same way the BJP has says compulsible. Madhya Pradesh police rescue child prostitutes, fed growth hormones from traffickers. The government has asked to submit a report. Pakistan practices ahead of the final before the final. Chandigarh's hotels are all booked. Defending champion Sebastian Vettel stands atop the podium at the Australian Grand Prix. Post India gets three points. Well, DMK chief uh, M. Karunanidhi has urged his rebel candidates to withdraw nominations filed as independents a day after the official closing date for filing nominations. According to agency reports, jolted by rebellion by some party men following denial of tickets for the Tamil Nadu assembly polls, the DMK chief made this statement. Karunanidhi said, and I quote, some persons who have not got the opportunity to contest the polls have filed nominations as rebels or independents, which amounts to attacking the very party which gave them the identity and it hurts me, unquote. While Karunanidhi did not name anyone, he was apparently referring to DMK's Vedaranyam legislator S.K. Vedaratinam, who has jumped into the fray as an independent after the seat was allotted to DMK's ally PMK. Well, the DMK leadership is keen to reach out to voters on the populist schemes which had, it has implemented in the past five years. So far, Chief Minister Karunanidhi has attended three election rallies in Tiruvarur, Tanjavur and Trichy. And here is the DMK chief's campaign itinerary for the second phase. He would step into the AIADMK's Bastion Coimbatore on March 30th. He would be travelling to Erode in Salem on March 31st and April 1st. The DMK Patriarch will visit Velour on April 2nd. He will campaign in North Chennai on April 4th and South Chennai on April 5th and in Madurai on April 6th. On April 8th, he will visit Tindivanam and Villapuram and uh, he will go to Puducherry and Kadalor on April 9th. And finally, he will go back to his hometown, Tiruvarur, where he is contesting on the 10th of April and 11th. And well, it's more trouble for the TNCC chief KV Tangabalu. First, he was alleged to have played favoritism in fielding his wife for the Mailapur constituency, and now he faces allegations of corruption once again by Congress members. Today, members of the South Chennai Mahila Sabha Congress filed a complaint against Tangabalu at the Chief Election Officer's office. They allege that Tangabalu has been indulging in corruption and committing electoral offences. CEO Praveen Kumar said he will intimidate the Krishnagiri collector and that this complaint will come to a decision tomorrow. The members claim that Tangabalu offered a bribe of 10 lakh rupees to Makpul Jan, a Congress candidate from Krishnagiri constituency, and forced him not to file his nomination. And Makpul failed to file his nomination yesterday since he had got no time to get his affidavit ready. The members also alleged that the TNCC chief received a bribe of 50 lakhs from Hasina Syed, who was initially nominated to contest from Krishnagiri, but her name was scrapped after a section of Congress workers 
raised doubts of her winning from that constituency since she was first time candidate. If you look into the general way of the candidate is saying that he was not able to reach, that's exactly we want to find out by the election commission the truth. Was it somebody else stopped him to do the job or somebody has paid some money to him for not going and uh, filing the nomination. This is exactly what we want to find out. But senior Congress leader and Union Minister of Shipping G.K. Vasan seems confident of her win in the assembly polls despite the factionalism within the party. <laughs> Moving on, the CPIM released their election manifesto today saying that their poll pledge was to solve people's problems with price rise and corruption issues stopping their agenda. And coming down heavily on the ruling DMK, the CPIM state uh, president slammed Karudanidhi for his repeated tirades against the election commission. According to agency reports, among others in the manifesto, the left party said it will strive against the devastating policies of globalization, privatization and liberalization and work for people-oriented policies. The left leaders Sita Ram Yachuri, Brinda Karath and Prakash Karath will come to Tamil Nadu to campaign. CPIM has a share of 12 seats in its alliance with the AI ADMK. Not a single word about price rise. See, on behalf of our party, we have released our manif election manifesto. The manifesto contains solution to all the pressing problems of the Tamil Nadu people. Price rise, corruption, law and order, uh, and industrial development also due to power cut industry efforts. Uh, Agriculture in stagnation. We have raised the issue of uh, education and health also. So far, Mr. Karnani, the DMK leader, attended three public meetings. In his speech, he has not said anything about the people's issues like price rise, power cut, and so many other issues. He has raised only one issue, saying the election commission is trying to support opposition party to become a ruling party. Even a number of cases filed with the Election Commission on charges of bribery and transfer of money during the past one month to campaign against election malpractices, a group of individuals, along with the former Chief Electoral Officer Naresh Gupta, went on a rally at the Marina Beach this morning to remind politicians of the fair and transparent way of contesting elections. They want people not to get influenced by the parties who try to lure them with the bribes or offer freebies for votes. They also wanted youngsters to come out and exercise their fundamental right to vote. People should not uh, expect or receive money, liquor, gifts, uh, biryani, etc. So also political parties and candidates should not offer money, liquor, biryani to the voters. Also elections should be conducted in a peaceful way, in a harmonious way, without any uh, discord. And they should respect one another. All candidates, political parties should respect each other. And they should not make personal attacks against one another. And NDTV Hindu has been going to candidates who are contesting these elections to give us a sense of the changes they would make for the state of Tamil Nadu. Today we caught up with AI ADMK candidate Parakarupaya who is contesting in Chennai Harbour. So how will it change things for people living near the harbour? Here's his poll pledge on our special segment, If I Win. Karbuya, representing AD ADMK party in the Harbour constituency. 
I am only a pawn in the hands of Amma. Though I am contesting in this constituency, I am only her representative. So whatever had been promised in the election manifesto of Amma, all will be fulfilled. And particularly in this constituency, there are minorities. Major voters are minorities. North Indians, Muslims, Telugu people, and uh, then slums, and the other common category. So, the main motive, I have to safeguard the interests of the minorities. They feel unsecured, North Indians, Muslims, they feel unsecured. Their interest will be safeguarded in our Amma's rule. So, I have promised them that one thing. And uh, there is a Muslim on World Bank here. 3.5% reservation had been declared by Karnanidhi unilaterally without consulting any Muslim leader. But Amma has promised that reservation limit will be raised. So, their longing will be fulfilled. Certainly, Muslim people can secure it from our Amma's regime. So, ADMK rule, that is a renaissance to Tamil Nadu politics. That's all I wanted to say. And news from the districts in a tragic accident, a 50-year-old man and his 3-year-old grandson were killed after an elephant trampled over them while it tried to enter into their farm. The boy and his grandfather were lying outside on the farm to guard the crop from elephants and other animals. Still ahead on the bulletin, a gang of 19 are busted for kidnapping minor girls and forcing them into prostitution. But there is something more disturbing than that. Details when we come back.